Hi, teacher. No, hi, hi professor. Teacher. Hi, professor. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm doing pretty good in you. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, great to hear that. Yes. Okay, let me see. Hi, let me say hi to the rest of the classmates. Stacy, Glenda, Cesar, Cristelia, Brian, and Edgardo Antonio. Eight students. That's right. Just on time. Okay. Oh, yes. So how is it going? How was your day? How was your Thursday? Was it good? Was it busy? Stressful? <sighs> what can you say about your day? Stressful. Stress. I have hunger. A hunger. Stressful. Hunger from yeah. where? From the university. Yes. All. Oh. I'm tired. I'm tired. Oh, you're tired. Okay. <laughs> Last class, teacher. Yeah, actually, it is. Last class. Last class. So let's wait for your class. I miss you. The is over. Yeah. Over <laughs> class. Today. I, I will miss you guys. You know, I will miss you. Yes. <laughs> the group rebelde. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. If you want to be cold in that way, so Hi, I'm everyone. gonna keep that on eye. Hi, Emerson. Oh, hello. Hi, Emerson. Good evening. Me acaban de mandar el enlace para el día lunes. My God. Ay, okay. Quiero uh, ver. No your, your email? Or oh, WhatsApp? Uh, por Gmail. Ah, oh, okay. Me too. Okay. Just right now. Wow. Are they still working? No, así que no separar. Yeah. What did you uh, call meeting? A A six seven nine nine six. Hi! I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Amazon. Yoo. El César, oh my God. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? No, lo hay. Oh my God. Elvis, Elvis, you, you made it? You made it to the next uh, course? Hitting ID. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. 886 7996. Okay. Oh, Elvis, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, Elvis. Yeah. Okay, teacher, you're made it, Katie. Nice links. Listen to you. You said it. How did you say it? No. 8, 6, 7, 9, 9, 6. Okay, okay. Okay, Cesar. So you're going to be together. You're going to be together. Okay. Very good. Very nice. Okay. That's really Glenda nice. No, ah, no, oh my God. Glenda, por favor, revise. Don't cry, don't cry, Cesar. Let's go ahead and have the last class. It's time sorry, to start sorry, already. No, don't worry, you know. <laughs> It's really nice that you're excited to have classes on Monday. That's really nice, you know. Yeah, excited. <laughs> yeah. Probably it's not because of the English classes, but because you're going to be together again, you know. But that's okay. You need to have like a real motivation. It is always important to have a real motivation to continue studying. So, friends, they can be that motivation that you need to continue. So, that's really nice, you know. So congratulations, okay. you made it. You made it to the next level. You Thank you. You did it. You made it. You made it. You made it. So yes. let's start right now. Vamos a empezar. Take a look at the topic for today. This is the last topic. I know that all of you already finished with this section, section number five. So we are just going to present this topic as a review. 
Really? <laughs> what? I don't know. I'm going to check later. So look <laughs> at this one. We have section number five. Remember that we have been talking about family, family members, um, description about family. <laughs> and yesterday we were also giving some examples about plants that most of the time we have together with the family, you know? They can be individual plants or plants with the family. And we were expressing those ideas with the present progressive. So the last topic for this section, section number five, is about quantifiers. Quantifiers. Ayer la estábamos iniciando, so let me show you. Class number 16 is similar to the same. Vámonos a la 16. Class number 16. Let me correct this one. Lo corrijo. It's class number yes. yes, please, tell me. Eh, tengo problemas, fíjese de que aún no llego a casa y, y mi celular se está quedando sin batería, así de que eh, me voy a agregar un poquito más tarde cuando se me descargue. Ok, don't worry, thank you so much for letting me know. Pero sí trate de conectarse para que esos minutos le cuenten, ok, última sesión y que okay. cuente. Thank you, okay. very good job. Hay que tener 45%. Ahí estamos, class number 16. It, it was not 15. My mistake, my bad. Class number 16, yes, quantifier. So let me show you. Look, yesterday we were having this conversation between Marcos and May Lee. And they were discussing about uh, information or facts about their countries. Do you know the meaning of this word, facts? ¿Qué será esto? Facts. Uh -huh. Facts about their countries or the countries they are coming from. For example, this is one of the facts, meaning hechos, datos reales. In China, most families have only one child. How about in Peru? ¿Cuál sería el dato que él está brindando, el hecho? A lot of families are smaller. A lot of families are smaller. Hechos, cosas que nosotros podemos expresar. Por ejemplo, in statistics, or if we are not sure about the information, we can have like an idea. Ok, eso es los facts. Eh, ¿Es información que... real? Yes, it is real information, of course. But most okay. of the time, it's not like a specific or accurate information. Por ejemplo, si le digo, eh, cuán, ¿cuál es el porcentaje de salvadoreños que vive en Estados Unidos? ¿Alguna idea? Any idea? What is the percentage um, of Salvadorians living in the state? Three, three. Es 7 million. No, es 30, 30%. Ok, 30 or 40. So you see? 30%. You have an 30. idea. You have an idea about this fact. Tienen una idea sobre este, llamémosle en este caso, el porcentaje, you ¿no? Know? O la cantidad de personas. Es como el, es como el 30% de ah, la población salvadoreña. Muy bien como el 30%, pero no estamos seguros si el porcentaje real. Yes. We are not sure about that. Okay. But let me stop here. Before we continue, I have so many cameras off. Muchas cámaras apagadas, chicos. So I really need you to have your cameras on. Remember, estas clases son monitoreadas por Insaport y eh, sí, toman muy en cuenta la asistencia y también eh, la cámara encendida para saber que se está aprovechando la beca. Okay? Saber que sí están ahí que son ustedes los que están pues, participando del programa. Así que no olvidemos, eso es algo que les repetimos siempre y en cada módulo lo vamos a seguir pues, eh, insistiendo. Así que porfa, cameras on, solo Fernando que me justificó. Y los demás, I haven't heard about you. Okay? So please cameras on, so we can participate and continue with this class. Here we go. So facts, veamos, ¿cómo expresamos esto en inglés? How do we express these ideas in English? For this type of information, we can easily use quantifiers. So what is a quantifier? 
any idea about quantifiers? ¿Qué serán los quantifiers? What comes to your mind whenever we say the word quantifier? What is that? ¿Qué se le viene a la, a la cabeza, a su mente? La idea, what is a quantifier? Algo que se puede contar. Ok, something. Now, there we go. Algo que podemos contar, información. Uh -huh. Ok, so, muy bien. Esa es la parte de gramática que ocupamos. Quantifiers. These are expressions. Expressions that we can use to give uh, information. Information about a number of something. Son palabras que ocupamos para dar información sobre un número de algo. En este caso, cantidades de algo. Si se fijan, I know you already know some of these expressions. Or you have used these expressions before. But you didn't know that we call these expressions quantifiers. Look, old. Esta lo ocupamos bien seguido, old. Look at this other, que bien común, many. ¿Ya la han ocupado? Have you ever used this expression before? Yes, right? Yes. yes right. Look. Yes. So, it's very, some. very uh, common to use this one. No one, you know? So, these expressions in English are called quantifiers. Se llaman quantifiers. If you see, we have a scale that goes from 100%, that is the top, and then it goes down to 0%. You know, this is a scale. In this case, uh, why is it that the rest of the words, they don't have like a specific number? Look, if you see, we have this group of quantifiers and we don't have like a specific percentage. No tenemos un porcentaje específico because it's not um, something that we can uh, assign, you know, specifically. Se acerca un poco la cantidad, pero no es que nearly all va a ser todo el tiempo cuando nos refiramos, digamos, al 90%, al 98%, no. Es solo un estimado, una aproximación de porcentaje. So, if you want to eh, have an idea, veamos, pongámosle SOM. Al SOM pongámosle 50%. Para que se hagan una idea de en dónde podemos nosotros, pues, dividir las expresiones. SOM, el 50% y el resto... Es un estimado, ¿ok? Es an estimate about the percentage. How do you say porcentaje in English class? Percentage. Porcentaje es esto. Y por ciento, decimos per cent. Percent. Percentage. El porcentaje. Percent. ¿Ok? Percentage or percent. It's like the short form, okay? So, 100%, 50%, and at the end we have 0% with the expression no one. But we have some rules that we need to follow whenever we want to use quantifiers. And for this topic specifically, we have a video. There is a video with the information so let's go to the platform, let's check this information, and then we're going to discuss about this exercise. Let me go to section number five. Let me see, where is it? It's just right here. Hopefully we're going to have extra time to check the final exam. You know, if we don't, um, you already have this idea, okay, about the topic that we have covered in the previous classes. Take a look at these examples. 
and the information from this video. Here we go. This time I'll talk about quantifiers. When we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all, and then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Type in two examples using any quantifier you want. Okay, let's go back to the information of 18. in this picture. Take a look at this picture. What type of family is the one in the picture? Where is this family from? Any idea? Where are they from? Take a look at the picture. China. Probably, right? Mm -hmm. Probably they Japan. are from Japan, China. We don't know, right? But if you see, they are talking about facts, about families, hechos, okay? O datos en específico sobre familias. And we can express this information using quantifiers. What can you see? What is the correct way to express information? Look, we are always going to have quantifiers at the beginning. You are always going to have quantifiers at the beginning. This is like the most a common way to express facts in English. Take a look at the example. Let me have a Daisy. Can you help me out reading these examples, please? Okay. All families have only one shoe. Nearly all families have only one shoe. Most families have only one shoe. Okay. So let's repeat. Child. Child. Okay. Child. Child. There we go. Excellent. If you see, yes, probably we are talking about families in China. This is so common, you know that all families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child and most of the family have only one child. Is it the same in El Salvador? What do you consider about El Salvador? Uh, <clears throat> not this and not. It, right? This is the same? <laughs> all families have only one child in El Salvador. Yes or no? Mm. No, teacher, that's Three, not in your power, four, right? Five, six, seven. <laughs> I the new seven. families, I knew families, yes, one child. Really? For situation Econ economic. Economical situation, yeah, probably. You know, okay. in, in my case, I'm only planning to have a single child. They are so expensive, you know, childs or children are very expensive. So, yes. Mm -hmm. As Aleli is saying, maybe new families, young uh, families, they are just planning to have one child. But it's, it's not that common. Look at the second examples. Veamos el siguiente dato. Let me see. Cesar, go ahead, please. 
Tell me this information. Many families are smaller these days. Okay. A lot, a lot of uh, families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. These days. So what is your opinion about El Salvador? Do we have similarities in this information? Many no, families in El Salvador are smaller these days. Yes or no? What do you think? No. Probably not, right? Probably no. Not. No, probably not. Because look at this picture. Because this is a family, small family. Are, are big, a big, a big, uh, yeah, place. this picture, they are in a small family. Only three members in the family, but not really. It doesn't really happen in El Salvador. And here we have some other examples about a different fact. Otro eh, dato, okay? Let me have Fatima, please. Go ahead and read the example. Um, not many cops have more than one ch child. A few cops have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. Great. So not many couples. What is a couple? What is this? Couple. Couple. Pareja. Es una pareja. pareja, okay? So in this picture, are they a couple? Serán ellos a couple? Yes, right? Yes, they no? are. They are. They are a couple. Así le llamamos una pareja, okay? Un matrimonio yeah. puede ser. So not many couples have more than one child. Imagine. And the last example, look. Wow, take a look at this information. Jessica, Janet, can you please help me out reading? No one gets married before the age of 18. No one gets married before the age of 18. Does this happen in El Salvador as well? No one, teacher. No one gets married no one. before the age of 18. Yes? No one's permitted. Ah, because we, they don't have, or people don't have the majority of age. So how about, cambiémosle, cuando ya son mayores, a los 19. No one gets married before the age of 19. ¿Qué piensan ustedes? ¿Será que hay muchos chicos que, que se casan a los 19? O nadie, no one. What no, do you think? Yeah. are not. No. Probably no, no, right? Solo se solo se solo se acompaña, solo se rejunta. Solo se rejunta. No, no interesting the marriage. Otros que lo que lo hacen a la fuerza. Yes, right. Yes. Por la bendición, por la bendición. Por eso le dije que para esa la chica se va. Yes, and they don't get married. So yo creo que también aplica para nosotros. No one gets married. For the age of 18. ¿Por qué? Porque no tienen la mayoría de edad. Si no, los casarían a la fuerza. But no. No one. So, ¿cuál es la explicación? How are we going to use quantifiers? We have the expression at the beginning. And then, look. We have a plural noun. Tenemos un nombre plural. ¿Cuáles son esos? Los que podemos contar. Countable nouns. Siempre va en plural. The womans. Ajá. Um, Fem families. Babies. Um, children. Students. Hay muchas categorías. En este caso, como hablamos de familia, son las expresiones que vamos a utilizar. Pero podemos agregar cualquier otro nombre en plural. Always in plural. Siempre en plural, a excepción de, this is the only exception. Look, no one, el 0% no one. ¿Qué le sigue? ¿Será esto un nombre plural? No, right. What is this? This is a, it's a verb. verb. Solo con no one, 
we are going to have a verb, you know, after the quantifier. And take a look at the verb. If you see, we are going to add an S. Como que lo estemos conjugando para la tercera persona. Okay? No one, nadie, no one gets. No podemos decir no one okay. gets. Mm -mm, no one gets. Okay. But we plural. Rest, eh, no plural, sino conjugado para la tercera persona. Ok. Ok. okay. Gets. Yeah. Ok. So, I mean, Elia, mm -hmm. the, uh, Professor Minanials are not attracted to males. I guess they are not. They aren't. No, no les atrae okay. para nada el matrimonio. So, no. look at this one. Veamos este ejemplo. Here I have some information about different countries. This is not information about El Salvador. Can you tell me what countries can you identify in this exercise? ¿Qué países identifican en el ejercicio? Look. United States, Brazil. Oh, Brazil. Very good. India. India. India, India is in number three. Suecia. Suecia. Y Francia. Francia. No, it's Francia, it's Canada. Canada. Ah, it's Canada. Okay, okay. Yes, it's Canada. They speak French at they home. Speak French is the, uh, this is not the country, okay? So the US, Brazil, India, Sweden, and Canada. Look, we have information about this country. Tenemos esta información. Number one, number one. Isabel, can you please read number one for us? In the USA, sixty-nine of percent of high school students go to college. Okay, interesting. Do you remember what is this? What is college? ¿Qué será esto? College. Mm, colegio. Mm. O escuela. Not really. Colega, como compañero. No, not really. no. Universidad. Yo creo que ya es la U. Universitario. Mm, sí. It is superior. Es, es, es eso. Estudios superiores. Education. Uh -huh. En este caso, acuérdense, college. ¿Cuál era la diferencia de college? Creo que. No, no lo discutimos ayer. So, college. High school. Era la high school. College okay. in yes. university. College is more technical. Oh. There we go. In university, mm -hmm. uh, more. Mm -hmm. Yes. Más carreras. It's the mm -hmm. profession at university. Mm -hmm. Sí, the college is son estudios técnicos. Por ejemplo, en El Salvador, ¿cuáles serían los lugares? In Safor is. Yes, Itka. Itka. Itka is one of the places, you know. ¿Qué otro conocen? Technical, technical education. La ENA. Okay. La ENA, yes. Mm -hmm. Escuela la Nacional de Agricultura. Ok, ok. Entonces son estudios técnicos y que casi siempre duran igual menos tiempo. No five years. They are going to last from two to three years, some of the time. Pero, pero quizás sin SAFOR no es un ejemplo para college. Porque eh, no es una carrera en sí que ustedes van a tener un diploma al final, sino que son cursos libres, le llamaría Insoport. So, college es como ITCA, que sí, van a recibir ustedes algo que lo certifique. Pero ese Hay es. Hay universidades high también que dan técnicos como eh, la tecnológica. Ok. Pero el ITI no, porque ese es un high school, no entra en la categoría. Uh -huh. Recuerden que es educación superior. So, that is a college. And look, in the U.S., 69% of high school students go to college, okay? Once they are done with high school, just 69%, they go to college. Imagine, solo el 69% después de high school va a la universidad, you know? Wow. 7%. Let me have Carlos. Number two is for you. 7%. Yeah, right? It's not similar to El Salvador, of course. Carlos, number two. Okay. 7% of the people in Brazil are age 
65 or older. Wow, imagine seven percent to seven percent. Interesting. Seven percent of people in Brazil are age 65 or older. Muy pocos, okay, muy pocos. ¿Quién más? La número tres, let me have Cristelia en Eduardo Elías, number four. In Indian, zero, zero percentage, how do you say in English? Uh -huh. Percent. Person. Yes. Zero percent. Of the people bought before to the age of 18. Okay. In India, zero percent of people bought before the age of 18. Wow, interesting. Eduardo, please. 40% of the people in Sweden live alone. Imagine 40 or 40% 40 of people in Sweden, they live alone. Wow, that's really nice. Brian, Isaac, please. Number five is for you. Go, please, Brian. In Canada, 22% of the people speak French at home. Oh, just 22% of people speak French? Where? At home, look at this information, at home. So how do we express the same information but using quantifiers? ¿Cómo expresamos la misma información con quantifiers? First, primero vamos a hacer algo, ok? Let's do something. Identifiquemos los porcentajes que tenemos en nuestros ejemplos, from number one to number five. ¿Cuál es el más alto? Which is the highest percentage in the examples? Number one. Number one. 69. Okay, let's have 69 at the top of my scale. Which is the second one? ¿Cuál es el segundo? Mm -hmm. Number four, 40%. 40%. Okay, yes, number four, 40% is the next one. What do we have next? Number five. Number five with 22%. 22%. 22%. 22%. Number what are two. we missing? Number, number two. Number two, seven percent. And the last one, or the least, el menor, the least, is? Number three. Zero. Number three. Number three. Yeah, exactly. Zero percent. Great job. Now, I already have the percentages. If I want to express this information, but using quantifiers, what expressions are we going to use? What do you think about 69%? ¿Qué usaríamos con 69%? Money. Money. Okay. Money. Podríamos usar many. many? Only many? Many. Mm, most, most. Okay, you see? Por eso es que no hay un porcentaje específico. Because you can say many or you can also say most. That's it. Very good job. How about 40%? 40%. No money. No. Mm -hmm. no money. No money. Not many. And a, so, a few. Ah, probably. Some. You you could easily use some. Um, not many, but maybe not few. That best few is muy baja la, el, el porcentaje. Some, not some. many, a lot of. Okay, you could use those expressions. Look. How about with 22%? What expression or what quantifier would you use? A few. 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 Oh, okay. A few. I guess not many. Yo creo que más not, not, many. Many. not many. Not many. Not yes. many. 7%. Few. 7%. A few. A few. 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 Muy baja la cantidad. Few. And how about this one? We already have this one. No, 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 no,
No. Okay, no one. Now, let me see. Quiero ver a quién va a participar ahora. Do I have Gabriela Lisette? Is Gabby in the class? Yes, I am, teacher. There we go. So how would you express number one, but in this case, using quantifiers? ¿Cómo lo expresaríamos? Number one. Reemplacemos el porcentaje por la palabra en la um, lista, un quantifier, please. Um, in the U.S., in, in the U.S., maybe will be many of high school students go to college. There we go. I really like that one. In the U.S., mm -hmm. I'm just going to type the first one, okay? Then we're just going to express this orally. Many high school. In the US, ¿qué le sigue? Many, or you can say most. No, not capital. Like this one. Many mm -hmm. of, of high, high school. school students. Students. ¿Qué pasa con ellos? They go. Go to college. That's it. Miren, reemplazamos la información utilizando un quantifier. That's it. How about number two? Jeremías, Jeremías Ezequiel. Do you want to try with number two? Okay, you see why people with cameras off? I guess it's not there. Irma Raquel, please, number two. Um, How would you express um, using a quantifier? Few of the people in Brazil in Brazil are age 16, 65 or older. Wow. Do you agree on that class or would you make a change in the sentence? Or is it correct? What do you think, class? ¿Están de acuerdo con lo que dijo Irma? Yes? No. Ah, okay. So, how would you express this information? Many, many of the people in Brazil are a uh, 65 or older. Okay. Mira, ¿qué dijimos que va después de un quantifier? ¿Qué le sigue? Y me... Cállate. ¿Qué le sigue? What is next? Many. Many. ¿Qué sigue después de many? ¿Qué sigue después de un quantifier? Plural. Una palabra, ¿eh? Plural, la plural word. So, please, omitamos todo lo demás que no sea la plural word. So, we are going to say many... People, many. that's it. Many people. No vamos a decir many of the people. Si no, se cumple o no nuestra regla. No, right? We cannot mm. say many of the people. Never. Because we need to have a plural noun just right after mm. the quantifier. So many people in Brazil are age 65 or older. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, is it clear? Teacher, por qué sería many y no many? Uh, because you were expressing, you know, with many. El porcentaje es bien poco. No tendría que ser... But it's 40%, you. but it's 40%. Okay, so if you want me to change it. Seven percent. It's few. Okay, let's write few then. Few people. Sí, porque That's estábamos it. diciendo que muchas personas en Brasil tienen 65 años. So in this case, few, yes, right. So few. But is it clear? ¿Está claro? Después de quantifier, una palabra en plural. No podemos poner nada más antes. Ningún artículo, ninguna otra palabra. Okay, so few people and that's it. Few people. Let me have, let me see. Who hasn't participated today? Ana Gabriela, is Ana Gabriela there? 
please go and try with number three. You see, class? You see what I'm saying? I, teacher? Go, please. I'm India. I'm India. Um, now want of percent of the people vote before the age of um, 18. Okay, can you repeat that again? In India, uh, no one of the people, oh, no, in India, no one, the people, people vote before the age um, of 18. Okay. Do you agree on that class or would you make a change in the sentence? No. Okay, please. It's okay. It's okay? Okay. So in yes. India... Yes. No one. No one? No one of the people. Así sería. No one. No one, no one of the people. Okay. No one people. Uh, Chicos, olvidaron las reglas. No, it's... No one so, no solo sería people, people. No, no of the people. ¿Cuál era la excepción? What no. is the exception? No one gets, gets people. ¿Qué dijimos del verbo? Si es un verbo, ya no es una palabra en plural. Mm -hmm. Con no, no one, gets. one. ¿Cuál gets. es el verbo? What is the verb? Okay. But. Ahí no es el verbo. Ahí está el verbo en la oración y dijimos que oh, okay. lo conjugamos. Mm -hmm. no, one votes no one votes before the age of 18. Si okay, claro, ya, no, ya no ocupamos of the people. No, porque ¿cuál es la regla que dijimos? No, porque con no one? ya nos estamos refiriendo a cero. Okay. A ninguno. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Cuando decimos okay. no one, ahí abarcamos la expresión oh. para la gente. No one es nadie, okay. nos referimos a gente. Entonces, okay. si decimos no one of the people, estamos repitiendo la misma información, ¿ok? Nadie de la gente. Okay. So, no one okay. reemplaza al sujeto. No one votes okay. before the age of 18. Ok, thank o you. 18. Hoy sí está claro, con no one tenemos un verbo después. Con los demás quantifiers, a plural noun. Number four, César. En number five. Let me see, Emerson. Okay, go please. Understand, teacher. <laughs> okay, tenemos so que reemplazar el porcentaje por un quantifier. Uh -huh. uh, What does it say there? ¿Qué dice ahí? 40%. 40%, uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería so, el quantifier uh, más cercano a 40%? No, one. no many. No many. Not many. Probably not many. Not many. many. Not many. Uh -huh. Let's start by saying not many. Not many no. people. Mm -hmm. Not many people. After not, not many. Look, we need, a, we need to have a plural noun. Not many people. people. Incident. Okay, incident. Incident. Leave alone. Leave alone. You did a great job, you see? Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Please, no tengan miedo de equivocarse. Okay? Estamos muy bien. You did it great. Not many. It's a quantifier. And then we have a plural noun. In this case, it's people. And then the rest of the information. Emerson, I know you can do it. Number five. In Canada, a few people speak French at home. Okay, in Canada... Uh, is the a quantifier few. is the quantifier a few or only few? A ¿Cómo? few. Mm -hmm. Será a few mm -hmm. or only few? few? Some. Oh, mira. Few. Few. Okay, no tenemos la expresión a. Solo few. In Canada. Yeah. Si le pone a es una. Ajá, lo estamos convirtiendo en singular. Muy bien. In Canada, few. ¿Cuál es mi nombre plural people? en este caso? People. Few people. That's it. Few people. What's going on? Yes, Irma. 
Este, y en la primera me quedó una duda después de donde dice in the USA money, se pone siempre off high school. En este caso sí, porque abarca, eh, este es el sujeto, high school student. Okay. Okay. Sí. Okay. O ya la vamos a corregir para que no les quede esa duda. Few people que decíamos okay. speak French at home. Home. Vaya, mira, aquí está. It's okay, you know, it's okay, pero para que no nos confundamos, hagamos eso entonces. Vale, that's it. Corrijámoslo así. Many high school students go to college. Or many. Ok. Uh -huh. That's Thanks. it. Thank you, Irma. Muy buen punto. Muy buena observación. Okay. Questions about this. Pregunta, chicos. Questions about this. Or can we go to the practice right now? What do you need to keep in mind? What are the rules that you need to keep in mind? ¿Cuáles son las reglas que tienen que recordar? We only have two rules. Número uno. Quantifier. Quantifier y luego le sigue. Plus word and plural. plural word. ¿Y qué pasa con no one? Es quantifier más ver. Quantifier plus ver. That's it. Y luego toda la información. Ok. Now, what do I want you to do? Look, I need you to go and have the same information, but according to El Salvador. Toda esta información, pero en base a El Salvador. ¿Qué opinan ustedes de esta información de acuerdo a El Salvador? Okay. What is the percentage? Yeah. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el porcentaje de high school students that go to college? What is the percentage of people that are age 65 or older? What is the percentage of people in El Salvador who vote before the age of 18? What is the percentage of people in El Salvador that live alone? And the last one, what is the percentage of people who speak French at home? Not Spanish, not English, French. Vamos a comparar información, pero en base a El Salvador, ¿ok? I'm going to send this picture so you can talk to your classmates. Este es más que todo speaking practice, ¿ok? If you want to take notes, that's ok. But if not, this is just a speaking time. Let's go. We have five minutes to practice. Here we go. Ok. Go and practice with your classmates. Okay, I'm still missing some students. Go with your classmates, please. Okay, here you go. Are you having problems, Gladi, to go with your classmates? And Stephanie, Brian, Elvis, are you having problems? If not, we can work here. Si tienen problema, chicos, podemos trabajar aquí, ¿ok? Gladys, ¿cómo estamos con el internet? ¿Se puede unir a la sala? No. Ok, ok, don't worry. No hay problema, Gladys, don't worry.
Forty percent. What? In El Salvador, forty percent of high school students go to the college. Forty. Uh, A few. Possible. Oh, very per per percent. Uh, plus for forty percent. The um, in the Salvador, some high school students go to college. Yeah. So. Student. Okay, have Edwin and Jasmine. ¿Tienen problemas, chicos, con el internet? Sí, ya tres veces me sacó. ¿Verdad? Sí. Yo Ay, creo también que... me sacó. Sí, creo que está pasando eso. Don't worry. Ya, ya van a regresar sus compañeros. Don't worry. If you want, you can go and check. If not, les comparto la imagen ahorita para que puedan tener una idea de qué responder. Me salió, no sé qué pasó. All right. <laughs> don't worry. Let me show you the picture. Para que puedan trabajar acá, amigos. Información en base a El Salvador, ¿ok? Analícenla y ya sus compañeros van a regresar. No worry. Let's wait for your classmates. Ok. ¿Qué piensan de la primera? No lo veo todavía, no cargo. Ya, yeah, ok. Se volvió a trabajar. Fíjate más, todos nos miran. Hola. Hola. Los demás no. lo miran. No, yo no. Ay, no. Bueno, se lo voy a leer, dice. In the US, 69 of high schools students go to college. O sea, el 69% de los estudiantes de como high school van al como a estudiar un técnico. ¿Y Ajá. qué piensan? En El Salvador también. Quizá como Mani. Pero sí. Hola. Ay, ya están regresando. <ríe> Me está fallando esto. Ay, no, quedé hablando sola. Qué oso. <ríe> Ok, time to come back. Don't worry, don't worry. Yo sé qué pasa. El internet es nuestro mayor enemigo. Qué oso que voy hablando sola como cinco minutos. Really, André. ¿Oye? Yo no. a hablar y me di cuenta que nadie me estaba escuchando. Oh, no, no, no. No, no don't worry. Let's wait for your classmates. You know, I have a lot of students here. Wow. Siete no pudieron ingresar a las salas. So, I don't know what's going on. Okay, okay, there we come. Your classmates are coming. Let's wait for your classmates. 
And I want to listen about your opinion, you know? ¿Qué estamos haciendo? Comparando información. Comparing information. I don't want you to use percentages. I need you to use quantifier. Okay? If you want to express this information, I need you to use quantifiers, not percentages. ¿Por qué vamos a utilizar quantifiers? Porque les aseguro que no estamos al 100% Seguro de la información que vamos a dar, ¿ok? It's just an idea. Number one. ¿Quién está listo para la número uno? Number one. Information about El Salvador. High school students go to college. Who's ready to give me that information? I can try. Yes, of course you can try. Go ahead. Thank you. Ok. In El Salvador, 23% of high school students go to the college. Okay, but can you give the same information, but now using a quantifier? Uh, but the information is really, mm -hmm. but okay. Really? Uh, is it real? Yes, yes, it's really. Wow. Y dice que real, que que es high la school verdadera. students really? go to the college, uh -huh. ICA or PEPADE or mm -hmm. other institute. Oh, but okay. only but only 13 percent go to the university right. but only three percent uh, get the degree really where did you take that information from Tomas information is quite interesting you know muy interesante okay. de donde la tomó um, este carlos información um, Es un informe de Cepal. Wow. Eh, me entristece un poco escuchar eso. Imagínense qué porcentaje es tan bajo. Wow. Teacher is quantifier is must. Which one? Is must in quantifier and information. Mm -hmm. The number one. Or nearly half. No, no must. Ay, sería genial si dijéramos yes. most high school students go to college, pero en El Salvador, ¿cuál usaríamos, Carlos, en este caso? Which one are we going to use? I believe that we can use not many. Not many or, or few. Few. Okay. Ajá. Right. Estamos hablando de El Salvador, vea, por eso. Sí, estamos hablando de El Salvador. Probably few of high school students go to college, yes. Y el, okay. lo, lo más alarmante, no todos se gradúan o tienen su En este caso, diploma, el mismo leo su certificación que terminaron. Wow, interesting. Number two, who wants to help me with number two? People are older, 65 or older. Mm -hmm. Go, please. Uh, it's really information too. Okay. Few people in El Salvador are age 75 older. Wow, just few people. Oh my God. Wow, interesting. Entonces, ¿qué edad será la que más eh, tenemos en El Salvador? Estaba viendo acá que de adultos mayores de 65 años mm -hmm. tenemos un 11%. Oh, ok. Interesting. This is interesting, you know? Number Por three. Poquito. <laughs> number three. Who wants to try with number three? Thank you. Solo uno, porfa. Just one. Thank you, Helen. Eso no cambia mucho. Porque aquí tampoco la dio. You already know the answer. Ya saben la respuesta. It's fact really to. The real too, yeah. In El Salvador, no one votes before the age of 18. Sí, no había donde perderse. No one votes before the age of 18. That's it. Thank you, Elvis. Gracias. You're my saber. Vamos a ver. ¿Quién sigue? Aleli, please. Number four. <laughs> oh, my God. No one of the people in El Salvador I live alone. Mm. Cesar, is that true? This is not true. It's not true. No one dice. Nadie en El Salvador vive solo. Emerson. Some no. No. Yo le dije que hay, oh, mucho, hay no, mucha gente que sí vive sola. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Alone? He lives alone. 
Es que estábamos hablando de los adolescentes, que no les gusta vivir solos. No, but this is in general, people in El Salvador. Ah, ok. Ok, entonces había, había un must, must. Really? What do you think, mm, class? Most of, most of people. I, I think few, 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 few right, I Salvador, not many, mm -hmm. not many or few. Casi nadie vive solo, no, sería genial vivir solo, but no, we need to share. I'm not you know, any mm -hmm. And the last one, number five, in Canada. In Salvador, five, no one, is people speak French at home. No one of the people speak French at home. Yes, right? I guess no one speaks French at home. How about English? What is the percentage? What do you think about English? Mm, not few. No few. Okay. Maybe not many. Not many people, you know, but yes, there are so many families. In my case, in my family, we only speak Solo los English. Que en el colegio francés, tal vez, tal <laughs> yeah. vez pero... Yes, entre right. la familia, ¿verdad? Si no. Exactly. O los de la Alianza Francesa, que aprenden oh, yeah, en fr right. French, but, but not, but, I guess no but one. Say at home. But say at, at home. home. Dice at home, exactly. Mm -hmm. At home. Pero ¿Qué no piensan no de inglés? No lo English. creo. Tal vez lo, tal vez lo estudian, inglés? pero no lo hablan. No, 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 no. ¿Cuál será el porcentaje para In... English? English. Maybe not no. many, right? No, Or no, so many. Many. Not many, right? Not many. Algunos, Todo not many. Y how about this one? Yo creo que esta está difícil. Yes? <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 families in El Salvador speak Spanish. Yes. Yeah, Spanish English. Spanglish, ah. Uh. Spanglish. 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 Ok, está bien, te pone. Ah, ajá, ah, es te dice que para reconfirmar, ok. Ah, ok. Ok, está bien. Si no entendió la parte de inglés, se lo explica en español. Yeah, right. Totalmente de acuerdo. Ok, está bien. Este es el momento para darle las gracias, porque sé que este último yes. día, no sé si el siguiente curso va a estar con nosotros. Así no nos ha dicho. Ok, let me check the sí. attendance list. Voy a revisar la, la asistencia primero. Después nos despedimos. Okay. Don't worry. Y falta la, sí. la foto grupal. Yes, we are going to take the screenshot. Aleli Concepción. Present Professor. Ana Gabriela. Ana Gabriela Corea. No. Ok. Ana Karina. Ana Stephanie. Okay. Andrea Isabel. I'm here. Brian Edwin. Brian Isaac. Present. Carlos Eden. Presente. Okay. Present. César Alexander. Okay. Thank you. Cristelia Rosalina. Present. Daisy Magdalena. Present. Edgardo Antonio. I am here. Eduardo Elia. Present. Edwin Ernesto. He's there. Elvis Aníbal. Present. Emerson Alexander. Present. Present. Fátima Esmeralda. Ah, ok. Muy bien, Edwin. Fátima Esperal, Fernando Arturo, he was in the class, right? Gabriela Lisset. Present teacher. Gladys Elizabeth. Está diciendo en chat que ahí está. Muy bien. Glenda, Glenda Abigail. Present teacher. Iris Elena. Yes, she's there. Irma Raquel. Present. Isabo Elizabeth. Present teacher. 
Jasmine Ivonne. Voy a sentir. Jeremías, Ezequiel. No. Jeremías. En Jessica Janet. Present teacher. Muy bien. So, that's it. Ahí sí, ya. Yeah. Pueden, podemos dar con, por concluir este grupo. Chicos, it was a really nice experience being with you. I really had fun, you know. Ustedes saben, me divertí bastante con ustedes. I really had fun, you know. <laughs> he podido ver el Gracias progreso. Gracias por la paciencia, he teacher. Podido, he podido ver el progreso de ustedes. Eh, algunos tuve la oportunidad de tener los, los dos módulos, okay? seguiditos. Sí se nota, Thank se nota, so much, ¿ok? Eh, ha sido bonito, no se siente el tiempo. O sea, clase de 9 a 10 de la noche. Muchos dirían que no lo hacen, no toman el reto, pero ustedes lo hicieron. Ok, so congratulations to all of you. Ok. Thank you so much. Thank más, you palabras de despedida so para el grupo. Bueno, Hoy no hablan, la verdad es que. <risa> Hoy no quieren hablar. Tenemos, eh, bueno, tomar la palabra y decirle que muchas gracias. La verdad es que. Hemos aprendido mucho con usted y, y a los compañeros también. O sea, sí, también los compañeros. Nos hemos, hemos tratado de hacer amena la, la reunión todos los días, ahí con chascarrillos, con, con de todo, pues, pero sí le agradecemos. Bueno, al menos eh, creo que en nombre de todos le agradecemos mucho. Porque la verdad oh. que hemos aprendido, hemos aprendido. Qué o sea, bueno. nos, falta, nos falta mucho que aprender porque es de un largo camino. Claro. Pero gracias, teacher. La verdad nos ha enseñado mucho. Thank you. La okay, vamos teacher. a extrañar, pero, Thank you, teacher. Eh, pero Thank you. esperamos eh, tenerla más, más adelante. Si no es en el siguiente sí. módulo, tenerla más sí. adelante. Esperamos Probablemente, verla. tal vez. Sí, eh, sí, ya me dieron avanzados. Créanme, me dieron avanzados. Entonces, oh, my vez, God. Ya, ahora me dieron en la, la programación y sí, avanzados, ni siquiera básicos, ni preintermedio. Me dieron un okay. preintermedio, pero eh, no es su grupo. <ríe> I'm sorry, you know? okay. Es un preintermedio yeah. uno, el mismo que estamos llevando con ustedes. Ustedes van para preintermedio dos. So don't worry, pero, you know? Gracias, teacher. Le agradecemos yeah. por su paciencia y por su dedicación hacia nosotros, okay. porque realmente todos los días aprendimos algo nuevo y Ay, eso se pretty, lo agradecemos. You know? También es felicitarla, me... Tichi. Felicitarla, porque la verdad es que. Por el cumpleaños que va a tener cumpleaños. Ah, eh, mucho okay. y también su cumpleaños. Y que Dios la bendiga y que yeah. Dios la siga. Yes. Good blessing. En, casa, en el camino. Muy bien. Muchas gracias. gracias por siempre estar dispuesta a ayudarnos. Ah, no, claro, yeah. siempre que se pueda, igual. Ahí voy a estar para poder ayudarles. Así que. Ah, pues ya estuvo que a las 12 de la noche vamos a estar mandando mensajes. <risa> Lo, bloqueada, ¿verdad? <risa> pero, pero, no, pero, no pero no preguntas como la de Emerson. Pues, porque, pero, pero, pues, yo no es interro es interrogante que le hizo Emerson va a quedar a la historia en su vida. <risa> It was quite funny. Yo lo tomé como hey, divertido, you know? Sorry, I teacher. even told my husband, you I know, apologize. Le contesté in is ¿Qué creen que fue su respuesta? Yes, you are. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> you are, you are. Le <laughs> dije así, que me pregunten yes. a mí, le dijo. <laughs> That's what he said, you know, because today we were, he was getting a haircut. Ahí se estaba cortando el cabello y me estaba acordando en la mañana riendo, yo estaba acordándome de Emerson. Y le dije, you know what? Uh, one of my students, he asked me about this question, you know, <laughs> if I'm a toxic girl, but I guess I'm not, right? And he says, mm, yes, you are a toxic girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you were right, Emerson. <laughs> Tenía razón, Emerson. Bien. Vamos a poner no, no, ya... No, 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 Okay, let's, let's do this. Vamos a hacer algo. Let me stop the class here.